Prof, some, some would argue that your party's view on free association has not been very clear. It has been very, very clear. But let me explain. We started the Progressively Free. Why did we start it? Again, you do research. Do any, you, you go to any school and pick the, look at the numbers, KG class uh, one and two. Then look at class one, two. By class three, you see something is happening. You also look at the gender breakdown and other breakdowns, uh, urban, rural, and so on. By the time you keep moving up, the numbers keep going down. That is where your intervention should be. If they don't complete the basic school, they won't be in the secondary school to enjoy whatever you are putting there. OK, so you need to fix all these gaps. And why are we doing progressively free? We are doing progressively free because to operate it full scale at once, we thought would be highly problematic. Because if you look at the number of children who qualify and the number of children who are always admitted, you get this huge percentage of kids who are not going. You want them to come and learn what? They need the classrooms. They need the labs. So you see, we expanded 125 schools. We have the list. We have the items we put there, whether they were science labs or dormitories or kitchen or dining or whatever, or washrooms. 125. We also picked another 175 for what we call the quality improvement. The physical improvements are easy. They don't have a dormitory, so we go and put one there. The quality improvements are not so easy. You need to do further work. So what happens is that you look at the performance of the school. How come in school X, nobody ever passes maths? You know it's not possible. You can't tell me there's not a single child there who could have passed. So let me understand. The, the progressive was yeah, that I'm, by I'm what time would they have? Because they Wait. came and did it immediately. Yeah, and what happened? They didn't do it immediately. They did it from, from one only. So they also followed the progressive. But they put 1.19 million people in number, school now. And now, yes. because they've done it for three years. Yes. And what I'm saying is that they didn't do it at once. It was a three-year stretch, and we all know that. So we don't need How to different argue. was your approach? We have a high birth rate in this society, in this country. So this, this unique classroom block and so on wasn't going to... How much space do we have? We are told the sky is the limit. If it is true, you must raise the structures. And even at the lower levels, we did that with the millennial schools and were able to abolish the shift system at the lower levels. So coming to our, pro our concept at the time, it was to reach the vulnerable. It was to bring the school as close to the doorsteps of the learners as possible and to make sure that those schools were of high quality. That is why we put in the labs we did put in. That is why we put in the uh, not only the science labs, but also the computer lab. That is why we stock the libraries properly. That is why we set up proper offices for the headmaster, assistant teachers. I've gone around and seen teachers, you know, propping a table against a tree and marking their papers. Really, how, what kind of quality work are they going to do?